Hello children, welcome to 7th Science Online Classes. Nutrition in Animals In this chapter, last week, we studied about milk teeth and permanent teeth, reason for tooth decay and some preventive methods uh, for tooth decay. Then we studied about salivary glands and uses of tongue and today we are going to study about the next internal organ of the elementary canal that is food pipe or esophagus and the next organ is stomach the food pipe or esophagus so you know that children we give food into the buccal cavity that is called ingestion that process is called ingestion and food passes into the food pipe so the solid food passes into the food pipe or esophagus and the food pipe runs along the neck and the chest so it passes along here neck is there and this part is the chest so food pipe runs along the neck and the chest and how the food from the buccal cavity it passes through the food pipe and how it reaches to the stomach because food is pushed downwards by the movement of the wall of the food pipe this food pipe wall that wall having some movement so because the movement of the wall of the food pipe causes the food uh, come down or it reaches to the stomach at times the food is not accepted by our stomach and is vomited out so sometimes we uh, have a, a sensation to vomit what is the reason because sometimes the stomach is not ready to accept the food or not accepted that food so that time we vomited out so that food move upwards and we vomited out so we will read once again about the food pipe or esophagus the solid food passes into the food pipe or esophagus the food pipe runs along the neck and the chest food is pushed downwards by the movement of the wall of the food pipe at times the food is not accepted by our stomach and is vomited out the solid food passes through the food pipe or esophagus and when we breathe the air passes through wind pipe or trachea wind pipe just uh, learn that word wind pipe so wind pipe is for the uh, movement of air and food pipe is for food okay our wind pipe and food pipe runs adjacent to each other so you can see in this picture this is the food pipe and this is the uh, wind pipe both pipes are go together or adjacent air and food share a common passage in the throat so in this uh, here this is the throat uh, area so in this throat area these two pipes are pipes share a common passage both have a common uh, pipe so when we swallow food a flap like valve closes the passage of the wind pipe and guides the food into the food pipe so when we swallow the food when we eat the food this uh, food uh, actually it goes through this esophagus so one flap is here that flap close this part this uh, wind pipe so this food go through this esophagus you got it children so we uh, give or we swallow the food through the buccal cavity and the food passes through this and it come to this esophagus or this food pipe so here one flap is there that flap close here so this uh, food directly go to this esophagus but if we laugh or talk while eating 
the windpipe remains open and food particle enters into the windpipe and we experience hiccups, cough or choking. So when we are uh, while eating, while eating uh, we laugh or talk. So that time the valve suppose not closed. So if valve is not closed means what will happen? The food, some food come to this windpipe also. So when it happens like that, uh, we experience hiccups, cough or choking. So while eating, don't laugh and don't uh, talk. The next internal organ of the elementary canal that is the stomach. You can see the picture here. The stomach, it is the widest part of the elementary canal. It is the widest part. So, which is the widest part of the elementary canal? The stomach. And it, uh, its structure also here, it is a thick walled bag. This look like a bag because that all food coming from the, from the buccal cavity through the food pipe, it come to this bag. So, it is a thick walled bag. And its shape is like a flattened J, a capital letter J. Its shape is look like J. So it has a thick walled bag. And the stomach is connected with the food pipe and the small intestine. So here the one end of the stomach is connected with food pipe. So here is the food pipe and this end is connected with small intestine. Okay, so once again I am saying this end the st uh, stomachs this end is connected to uh, food pipe and this end connected to small intestine. The stomach's inner lining produces three things. So it's very very important. Okay, The stomach's inner lining. So inside the stomach, the wall of the stomach inside, it produces some uh, things. Okay, That is helpful for our digestion. So uh, these are some, these are the three things. Uh, that present in inside the stomach so which are the things first one mucus it is pronounced as mucus m u c o u s mucus what is the function of mucus it protects the stomach lining it protects the stomach lining lining means uh, inner part or inner wall so that inner wall is protected by mucus Second is hydrochloric acid. So one acid also present in our uh, in our uh, stomach. So this mucus help. Otherwise acid is there. So mucus help uh, to protect the stomach lining. So and what is the function of hydrochloric acid? It kills the bacteria present inside the stomach and activates the digestive juices. So two uh, functions are there. First one is it kills the bacteria because this is an acid. So it kills the bacteria present inside the stomach and activates the digestive juices. Many digestive juices are there inside our stomach. So this hydrochloric acid give a boost or boost up that activity. So it activates the digestive juices. And the third thing is digestive juices they break down the proteins present in the food into simple substances so uh, when we consume the food that food contain proteins so that proteins converted or break down to smaller or simple substance then only we can absorb the things okay so proteins the breaking of proteins done by the digestive juices present inside the stomach so this part is very very important so i'm reading once again the stomach's inner lining produces three things mucus it protects the stomach lining hydrochloric acid it kills the bacteria present inside the stomach and activates the digestive juices and uh, digestive juices means what they break down the proteins present in the food into simple substances so this is very very important uh, about stomach stomach is the widest part uh, part of the elementary canal 
and it has look like a bag and that bag has a thick wall and its shape is J and the stomach is connected with one end is connected with a food pipe and other end is connected to small intestine and this uh, stomach uh, inside it is produced three things which are the three things mucus hydrochloric acid and digestive juices mucus function is it protects the stomach lining hydrochloric acid it kills the bacteria and activates the digestive juices and uh, function of digestive juice means they break down the proteins present in the food into simple substances so very easy but you have to read it read this only these points these points is very helpful to study